Okay, so let's talk about Chase Claypool. Obviously, Chase Claypool was looking to be a very promising receiver, and he just he didn't pan out. He spent his first few years in Pittsburgh, where he had a very good rookie year. Second year wasn't as good, but maybe he could bounce back. And then he never ended up bouncing back. He and didn't look like the right guy. People were saying he wasn't a good locker room guy. So Pittsburgh traded him to the Bears for a first-round pick, which was a steal for the Steelers. A first-round pick for Chase Claypool. Now, I'm not sure what the Steelers end up using that first-round pick on. But they got him. Now, Claypool was in Chicago, and his first year in Chicago, he wasn't as good. But, year two in Chicago, you know, now he was traded the trade deadline of his third year. So he spent his first two year, full two years in Pittsburgh. Third year was traded at the trade deadline to the Bears for a first round pick. So in his fourth year, which was last year, 2023, the season that just happened, he, he, he wasn't, the, he just wasn't trying. First year for half his half a year in Chicago, he wasn't good, but he was still under contract. The Bears kept him. All Claypool didn't have to be insane to re-sign with the Bears. The Bears probably would have paid him. Not a bad amount of money. If he had a good year, they would have paid him. They would have paid him a good amount of money, maybe 10 mil. Or maybe he could have gone to a different team for 20 mil a year. But he he didn't even he didn't try, which is the worst part. It's not like he was bad. It's not like he was dropping passes. It's not like he was letting people blow by on blocks in the run game. He just wasn't even trying, which is the worst thing you can do. So, at the trade deadline, exactly a year after he came to Chicago, the Steelers traded him to the Dolphins, and he had four catches as a Dolphin. And now, he's a free agent, four years are up, and no one wants to sign him, he has not been signed yet, but Chase Claypool's Canadian, he's from British Columbia, the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. Now. I am a Saskatchewan Rough Riders fan. I have family in Saskatchewan who are Rough Riders fans. I do not live in Saskatchewan, but I have family in Saskatchewan who's Rough Riders fans, so I am a Rough Riders fan. And now the Rough Riders are in the CFL, the Canadian Football League. Chase Claypool was not officially signed by the Rough Riders, but he was put on their... He was put on there, it's a list. He was put on a list, and that list, I forget what it's called, but that list is a CFL thing, and it means that if this player says, hey, I'm going to come play in the CFL, then whichever team or teams have him on their list, I think it can only be one team, gets first dibs at signing him. And the Rough Riders put Chase Claypool on that list. Meaning, if Chase Claypool decides to come play in the CFL, which, if they put him on the list, makes me think he will probably come play in the CFL. If he comes to CFL, the Rough Riders are the first team that can offer him a contract. No other team can even offer him a contract or talk to him or his agent until he, if, until he declines the deal with the Rough Riders. If he accepts the Rough Riders deal, he signs with the Riders. If he does not, then he will maybe go somewhere else in the CFL. But the CFL is for old NFL players who didn't pan out. Like Johnny Manziel played for the Montreal Alouettes in the CFL and the Hamilton Tiger Cats. Now for Chase Claypool, this is the lowest you can go. But the CFL is the lowest you can go. Like it's like NFL, college, and then I even put the UFL above the CFL in terms of leagues, just because the UFL is American, which means at least then you have a chance of being noticed by the NFL. 
And a lot more UFL guys get picked to come to the NFL than CFL guys. But obviously, this is not good for Chase Claypool. All he had to do was try. All he had to do was be a good locker room guy and try. And I don't understand these NFL players that aren't good guys. Like, honestly. You're getting paid so much money to play in the NFL, play football. Why do you want to make a big deal out of this? Why not just keep your mouth shut, ride out? And that's what most players do. Most players in the NFL will keep their mouth shut, ride through their career, not necessarily making headlines, but they're getting paid. Take Landon Dickerson. The Eagles left guard, for example. He became the highest paid offensive lineman in NFL history. He is not the best lineman in NFL history. If you asked a casual, like if you asked someone who watches the NFL, not a casual, but someone who watches the NFL, but who doesn't necessarily know everyone in the league, and you said, hey, do you know who Landon Dickerson is? They wouldn't know who he is because he flies under the radar and then still gets paid. So, well, we'll see if Claypool signs with the Rough Riders. I think Claypool would be, if he tries, he'd be really good for the Rough Riders. But I have given up on Chase Claypool, and I do not think that he is good. Subscribe.